A federal high court in Abuja has found the former National Policy Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Ulisa Metu, guilty of some of the charges levied against him. Justice Okun Afang found Metu guilty of count one and two of the corrupt charges levied against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The judge heard that Metu, who is standing trial for alleged 400 million fraud, should have known that the money was a proceed of crime. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission had arraigned Metu on charges for allegedly laundering the sum of 400 million naira as PDP former spokesman during the tenure of the former president, Goodluck Jonathan. The anti graft agency had accused Metu of receiving the money from the office of the National Security Advisor, Sambo Dasuki. Metu was arraigned alongside his company, Destra Investment Limited. However, the judge heard that Ulisa Metu and Destra Investment Limited were guilty of the count one for taking possession and control of 400 million from the office of the National Security Advisor, which he ought to know was a proceed of crime. The judge also found him guilty of the count two for converting the sum of 400 million naira to fund the People's Democratic Party activities for his personal use. <laughs> A 48-year-old bus conductor, the lack of Pine, who allegedly stole a passenger's ATM card and withdrew 82,000, on Monday appeared in a magistrate's court in Tunubu, Lagos. The police charged Pine, who resides in Jakode Estate in Isolo, with two counts of conspiracy and theft. He was, however, pleaded not guilty to the offences. The prosecution counsel, Ajaga Baku, told the court that the defendant committed the offence on February 8 at Chikonsu bus stop on the Lekki Express with Lagos. He said the defendant, who was the conductor of a bus, that the complaint Daminola Arobo low boarded, connived with the driver to steal an ATM card and a techno phone worth 6,000 naira. The defendant and the accomplice forcefully obtained the PIN number from her pushed out of the vehicle and later went to withdraw 82,000 naira from her account, noting the offence contravened the provision of Section 287 and 411 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State. The prosecution said the defendant was later caught but his accomplice is still at large. Magistrate Adjami Adjose admitted the defendant to bail in the sum of 200,000 with two shorties in the lack sum and the case was adjourned to March 3rd for further hearing. A 16-year-old boy identified as Adekunle Ayomiku has been dragged before the Boshere Magistrate Court in Lagos for allegedly stealing 340,000 naira from the First City Monument Bank. Ayomiku is facing a one-count charge of stealing preferred against him by the police. The prosecutor, Inspector Peace Chokudi, told the court that the defendant committed the offense on February 19, 2020 at the First City Monument Bank Aja branch. Chukudi said the defendant stole the sum of 340,000 property of the FCMB represented by Mary Ikuoko. According to her, the offense is punishable under Section 28 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State 2015. During the ruling on Monday, the defendant told the court how he entered the bank during working hours and locked himself in the toilet. The defendant added that when he eventually came out of the toilet, the security guard snatched and recovered the sum of 340,000 naira from him. The magistrate, Dajo Jo, remanded him at the juvenile center for boys in Oregu following his plea of guilty to the charge preferred against him and the case was adjourned until April 15 for further mention. <laughs> 